let us move into uh, terminologies and definition used in traffic signal control system. So you have to familiarize with all these terms so that it's easier for you to design further in the next uh, subsection, which is calculation to design the traffic control system. Okay, let's get started about signal aspect or indication. Indications means the color of the traffic signal. So basically, um, traffic signal has three colors, green, amber or yellow, and red. And sometimes for the green color, it also has green arrow to show the direction. So let us look into the red. Red here means stop, don't go. Just stop. Do not cross the stop line. While the amber, it has two conditions. If you approaching the stop line, you have to slow down and ready to stop as the right of way is about to end. The other one, if you have already crossed the stop line, so you just proceed and clear the junction quickly. So, it depends either you already crossed the stop line or not or else you have to ready to stop and the green or green arrow shows driver have the right of way so you can proceed to follow the indicated direction so basically these are the colors for traffic signal control system second cycle time Cycle time is actually the beginning of in the beginning in the in the bini in the beginning yeah of the green indication towards the end of the red time before just before the same junction flash the green indicator okay that is the cycle time by definition cycle time is a period for a complete sequence of signal indication or aspect that is green followed with amber and followed with red period okay dari hijau ke kuning kuning ke merah just before balik hijau okay so this is one cycle. So the symbol is C not. Okay, C ada not kat bawah ni. Kosong. Okay, kita tengok sikit. Color. This is the period for green indicator. Maksudnya, waktu hijau ni, kenderaan boleh jalan. Then, lepas hijau, dia kuning. Ah, nampak dia kuning. Kita patah balik. Ah, di sini, kuning. So, kuning Selalunya about 2 to 3 second. Maksudnya dia, sebelum dia bertukar kepada merah. Okay. So, from the green to the end of the amber. So, time dia T1 to T2. Okay. Daripada merah sampai end of the red. Sampai lah end of the merah. So, that is the red time. So, from beginning of green till the end of the red is one complete cycle time. Right. Next. This is just an example. Uh, in Malma. Uh, so actually I took this picture. Uh, it is a pedestrian and bicycle crossing. If you look at here. Nampak ni. Orang ni boleh jalan tau. Nampak dia merah. Dia hijau ni kat sini. Perjalan kaki hijau sebab nak bagi laluan kepada perjalan kaki lintas dulu. Then only bicycle can cross. Sekarang ni bicycle ni, dia merah. Dia ke kuning. Lepas ni dia akan hijau. So, if in Malaysia, from green dia akan pergi kuning, lepas tu merah kan. Lepas tu dari merah dia akan direct ke hijau kan. But in Sweden and some other countries, dia akan flash amber serentak. Macam ni kan dia merah, dia akan kuning. So, maksudnya orang akan ready. Sebab lepas ni dia akan hijau. Menunjukkan dia akan ada pertukaran lampu isyarat. So that uh, we as a road user will get ready to proceed our journey. 
Okay, so this is an example of um, pedestrian and bicycle crossing in Malmö in Sweden. Okay, just 10 minutes away by train from my university. Okay, no waktu ni hari hujan ni musim sejuk. Okay, third is traffic signal faces. Okay, awak dah tahu tadi warna dan awak dah tahu apa maksud cycle time. Yang ketiga, awak kena faham apa itu fasa. Face. What is traffic signal faces? So, traffic signal faces is the portion of a signal cycle time allocated to any single combination of one or more traffic movements simultaneously receiving the right of way during one or more interval. Ya Allah, dia punya definition. Ha, bacalah lagi sekali, kasi faham. Okay, the portion of a signal cycle time allocated to any single combination of one or more traffic movement simultaneously receiving the right of way during one or more interval. So basically the phase sequence is a predetermined order in which the phases of a cycle occur. So kita tengok seterusnya. Let's say at this intersection junction for phase one okay let us look into the red symbol from this direction to make a right turn it is red from this direction to make left turn and right turn there is no sign for left turn but then we can consider this red represent both oh no oh you can see here there is a arrow so maksudnya masuk kiri ni lepas ni boleh for right turn only red then uh, kita tengok yang hijau pula the green go through green go through and turn left green Okay, but the driver from here, nak masuk kiri ni, dia kena careful eh. Sebab ni terus ni hijau. Sekejap lagi dia nak masuk ni, dia kena bagi laluan. Dia kena berhenti dulu, tengok clear dan only uh, the driver can proceed. Okay, let's say this is phase 1. Which only go through for this direction and go through and left turn for this direction has the right of way. That is phase 1. Second phase. Second phase where traffic from here go through and turn left has a right of way uh, turn left and this turn left also has right of way only turn right has red indication and go through red indication so this is second phase this is just an example jangan, jangan risau jangan confuse tak apa ni just an example je okay. phase 3 ha, semua ni on the major road, kenapa saya panggil major? Sebab dia jalan besar as compared to yang ni. This is minor road. Kan? Sebab ni dia ada dua arah. Yang ni satu arah je. Maksudnya dia tak cross. We can consider as this is the major road. Okay. So kalau kat sini kita tengok uh, go through and turn right red. Go through red. Turn left ni hijau. This one both can move. Okay. Hijau. Okay. Phase 1, phase 2, phase 3, all three phases in one cycle time. In one cycle time. Ingat eh. Dalam satu cycle time, dia boleh ada banyak fasa. So, contoh untuk this junction, it has three phases in one cycle. Kenapa saya cakap macam tu? Okay, kita tengok gambar ni. Timing diagram. Okay, phase 1. When... The beginning of phase 1, phase 1 hijau, lepas hijau dia akan kuning, amber. Lepas kuning, dia ada satu time of R. Allahu Akbar, R ni apa? The capital R here represent all red period. Okay, nanti kita akan tengok apa itu all red period. But, a portion of the red time here is all red. Maksudnya semua akan merah. Okay, this is phase 1. Kita tengok phase 1. T1 is the beginning of amber. T2 is 
end of amber, then we have T3, which end of the orate period. When the phase 1 flash the red indication, at the end of all red period of phase 1, phase 2 akan hijau. Nampak ni hijau. At the end of the all red period of phase 1, Phase 2 will flash green indication. Aha. Nampak tak ni? Tit, 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 tit. Saya tertinggal I. Apa pula I ni? I is intergreen. Intergreen. What is intergreen? Intergreen is in between of green to green. Ah, This is the value of the in between of to green. That is intergreen. Maksudnya, intergreen equal to A plus R. Okay. Kalau awak tengok ni, R ni, all red, kat sini pun merah. Sebab tu kita namakan dia all red period. Maksudnya, fasa 1 merah, fasa 2 pun merah. Semua merah. Okay. Then only phase 2 will turn to green. Okay. Green, at the end of the green, dia ada T4. T okay. At the end of the green. Then amber period. So the traffic signal for second phase will flash amber indicator. At the end of amber indicator, that is T5. Then we have T6 which is at the end of all red period of phase 2. Again, this is all red period. Kalau tengok ke atas, dia merah juga. So dia merah. Uh, then dia akan merah terus. Okay, jangan risau, jangan risau. Kita akan pergi lagi phase 3. Kan sebab dia ada tiga fasa. So, for phase 3, here, when the phase 1 turn green, fasa 1 ni tengah hijau. Fasa 2 dengan 3 confirm lah. Merah, kan merah. So, dia merah. When the phase 2 turn to green, waktu dia hijau, fasa 1 merah, fasa 3 tetap merah. Sebab dia kena tunggu. Masih merah. Kalau dia hijau, dia lagi bertembung. Kan? So, merah. Jangan risau, dia merah lagi. Until at the end of all red period of phase 2. Habis the all red period of phase 2. Then only phase 3 flash the green indicator. At the end of green period of phase 3, that is T7. Then phase 3 will flash amber. At the end of amber, that is T8, then it will flash R, all red period. Nampak ni, waktu dia all red, kenapa nama dia all red sekali lagi? Sebab waktu ni, fasa 2, fasa 1 pun merah. Okay, that is T9. Okay, uh, T9 ni ikut awak lah, awak nak letak ke tak nak kan? Terserah lah. But then, again I want to focus here, tengok R eh. R is all red period. Kenapa? Tengok ni. Waktu ni semua merah. All red. Semua. All faces. All faces turn to red. All faces turn to red. All faces turn to red. And A plus R equal to intergreen. So this is intergreen. A R. A R. Bukan A R badul eh. A R. Right. So from the beginning of green indicator for phase 1 till the end of the all red period of last phase. Phase yang ketiga. Kalau dia dua fasa, maknanya dia ada dua phase sahaja lah. But for this example, it has three phases. From the beginning of green indicator of phase 1 till the end of the all red period of phase 3, that is what we call as one cycle time. One complete cycle time. C not. Okay. Boleh faham tak? Agak-agak ni macam mana saya nak assume awak ada soalan ke tak ada? Ah, okay. Macam ni. Ini kalau tiga fasa. Okay. Katalah. Saya rasa awak mesti tanya mula. Walaupun saya tak ada. Okay. Katalah. Uh, dua fasa. Let's say. You want to sketch the phase diagram and timing diagram for two phase traffic control system. Because it is two phase, you have to sketch two, lay out 
of the intersection. For example, 40 junction. 40 junction. For phase 1, you have to sketch the layout for phase 1. Let's say this is measure and this is minor root. For phase 1, for example, you said that go through and turn right. Go through and turn left. They are in phase 1. While both movement for minor root, left and right turn, they are red. Okay, for this movement pattern, we neglect the turning action or the turning vehicle is very minimal. That, that is why this go through and this turn right can move simultaneously. I will show you the example of the real traffic condition where the go through and turn right move simultaneously later on, maybe in other class. Okay, so this is first phase. Then you sketch for the second phase. Sketch the layout. Say this is major root and this is minor root. So for phase two, for example, you said that okay, right turn from minor root and left turn from minor root. Okay, then phase two. Okay, this is I just want to give you very simple example. Okay, so do not think too much. Go through. Cannot move. Turn right also. Cannot move. Go through. Cannot move. Turn right also. Cannot move. So this is second phase. This is a simple example of phase diagram. Phase diagram. Okay. This is phase diagram. If for three phases then you have to sketch for three for example i give you another example for three phases okay let's say this is three phases traffic signal control so for three phases um, still it is t junction Let's say it is T junction. So you have to sketch for first phase. This is just an example, okay? So let's say you said for first phase, go through and turn right. The rest are red. Okay, this is red, this is also red, red and red. Then for second phase, you said that, oh, okay, uh, I want to give the right of way to this go through and turn left while the rest are red. Bear in mind, this is just example. I know that why not just allow this vehicle go through because it did not disturb anything. This is just to show you clearly how we divide the uh, phase and how we arrange the movement for each phase. And let's say the third phase, sketch the layout. Right, so the third phase is movement from minor road and the rest are red. Okay, red. This is also red. This is also red. So this is how we sketch the phase diagram. So it is same for four phases. If four phases, then you're gonna have four layout to show first phase which has right of way, second phase which direction has the right of way, and 
so on and so on. Okay, this is how to sketch the face diagram. While if you want to sketch the timing diagram, let's say for two phase traffic signal control. For timing diagram, let's say this is two phase timing diagram. Because it is two phase, so you're gonna have two bars, two bars to indicate the face. Okay, so first bars and second bar. This is very simple. Okay, bear in mind from the beginning of the green indication of the first phase till the end of all red period for the last phase in this example second phase from the beginning till the end this is what we call as cycle time total cycle time c naught okay so in first phase phase one will flash green in the header after green followed with amber then all red period which here for second phase it is red all the way from here till here as you can see all red this is also red from the red when the first phase turn to red so second phase has the right of way so here second phase flash green indicator followed with amber followed with all red period as you can see here all red this is red this is also red okay this is for two phase very simple Contoh macam awak tengok ni, kalau ni hijau, takkanlah yang ni hijau, kan? Mestilah merah. Kalau tidak, bertembung lah dia dengan ni. Ha, gitu. So, same goes for the timing in diagram. For it. for example, you want to sketch, um, okay, uh, I want four phase. Four phase, um, traffic, signal, control. Then, how to sketch the timing diagram for these four phases? Lah, kan saya dah cakap tadi, kan? Kalau dua, lukislah dua bars. So, kalau empat, maksudnya kena lukis empat bars. One, two, three, four. So, sketch the first bar. Okay. Then, sketch lagi second bar. Sketch lagi third bar and final bar. As I mentioned earlier, from the beginning of the green indicator for phase one till the end of all red period of last phase, that is cycle time. Okay, so this is cycle time. Right. So first, phase one will turn green. Okay, it will turn green, followed with amber, then all red period. Eh, kenapa warna orange? Kita tukar. Merah. Okay, then all red period. Right. From here. Then second phase turn green. Before second phase turn green, it is red. Can sebab ni fasa satu tengah jalan dia mesti lah merah. Okay, followed with amber and then all red. Okay, pastu turun lagi. 
Then facade 3, phase 3. Phase 3, green. So before the phase 3 turn to green indicator, dia adalah merah. Logik kan? Sebab waktu fasa 1 jalan, fasa 2 merah, fasa 3 pun merah lah. So bila fasa 2 jalan, fasa 1 jadi apa? Fasa 1 pun merah. Fasa 2 hijau, fasa 3 masih merah kan? Okay, after green dan amber, itu warna apa lah ni? Warna merah lah. Kita tukar, orange. Warna amber. Amber. Then, warna orange. Okay. Then, bila fasa 3 dah orange, so sini dia jadi green. Fasa 4 pula lah hijau. So, before fasa 4 turn to green, ni dia merah. Sebab dia tengah menunggu ni. Dia tengah menunggu turn dia. So, take turn lah. Mula-mula fasa 1 dulu hijau. So, yang ni merah, merah, merah. Lepas tu bagilah fasa 2 jalan. So, fasa 1 jadi merah. Yang lain pun merah. Bila fasa 3 jalan, aa, yang ni fasa 1 dan fasa 2 merah. Fasa 4 pun masih merah. Until it reach their turn. Bila fasa 2, fasa 1 dan fasa 3 merah. Kan? So, Lepas habis merah, dia jadi amber and will end with all red period. So, nampak tak susunan dia? Dia takkan bertindih. Hijau ni takkan bertindih. Takkan ada satu masa, satu fasa tu ada dua hijau, ada dua amber. Tak boleh. Okay. Amber dengan hijau tu exclusive for each direction sahaja. Okay. So, this is how we sketch the timing diagram. Senang, kan? Bukan susah pun. Allah tulisan. Hmm. Nak lama lukis atas screen, kan? Okay, that is how we sketch the timing diagram. Kalau nak buat face diagram, sama je macam tadi tu. Awak kena lukis empat. Yang saya bagi tadi tu, yang dalam slide powerpoint ni, this one is three faces. Sebab tu, dalam satu fasa ni, dia bahagi kepada tiga. Jadi, awak kena faham tau, dia macam ni. Dia tak boleh, dia tak boleh waktu fasa 1 hijau, fasa 2 dengan 3 pun sehingga nak hijau. Tak boleh, nanti dia bertembung lepas tu kemalangan. Ha, macam mana jadi engineer ni asyik kemalangan je. So, kalau awak tengok, waktu dia hijau, dia satu-satunya yang hijau. Dia satu-satunya hijau, dia satu-satunya hijau. Hanya akan berlaku serentak apabila all red period. Nama pun all red. Bila all red, maksudnya semua merah, kan? Okay, ya, semua merah. Boleh faham tak benda ni? Katalah tak faham, ah, faham kan? Okay, okay kita tengok uh, seterusnya. Okay, so seterusnya is all red period. Saya so, dah explain dah tadi apa itu all red. Simbol dia R, capital R. It is the part or parts of the signal cycle time during which the signal indication do not change. Maksudnya, semua junction, semua fasa warna merah. That is all red period. This short period of time, okay, normally 2 to 3 second lah, 2 atau 3 saat. Kalau awak perasan kalau awak pergi traffic signal, memang akan ada beberapa saat tu semua tak bergerak. Sebab semua merah. Okay, this is for safety reason. So, to ensure all vehicles, pedestrian have cleared the junction before the next traffic phase is given right of way. Sebab ni, kita nak avoid, kita nak, sebenarnya kita nak jaga jugalah safety of the Red runner. So basically ah, ni lah macam tadi gambar yang tadi kan. All red ni. Waktu ni semua merah. All red. So that is all red period. Again, daripada bermulanya hijau pada fasa 1 sehingga berakhirnya Ramadan Karim. <tuh> tak, tak, tak. Berakhirnya R, all red period. Itu kita namakan one cycle time. Maksudnya dia macam ni tau. Kalau nak faham, awak pergi junction. Okey, hijau kan. Lepas tu, bermulanya hijau. Lepas tu nanti jagi kuning, lepas tu merah. Kau duduk je lah kat junction tu. Jangan bergerak tunggu kat junction. Tunggu hijau balik. Maksudnya, sebelum awak hijau tu, kan tengok eh. Ni kan end of the all red period untuk fasa 3 ni. Kalau kita tengok ke atas, dia hijau balik. Ha. Dari bermula hijau sehingga sebelum bermulanya hijau semula, 
pada satu fasa ataupun junction tu ataupun approach tu, leg yang itu, itu dinamakan cycle time. C0. One cycle time. One happy family at home. Ha. Aduh, saya risau lah tak faham. Tapi harap-harap faham. Okay. All red period, maksudnya semua fasa warna merah. Sama juga macam yang dua face yang saya contoh tadi kan saya tunjuk kan. Okay. Then we have intergreen period. So the intergreen period is a period of time from end of the green indication of a phase to the beginning of green indication for the next phase. So the formula for intergreen equal to amber plus R. Intergreen, antara hijau. Antara hijau, antara hijau ada apa? Ada amber, ada orange period. Kan? Gambar yang sama juga. Ni antara hijau. Antara hijau fasa 1 dan hijau fasa 2 dan hijau fasa 3. Dia ada this component. A dengan R. A dengan R. A dengan R. So, nanti if you want to calculate the cycle time, if the amber and orange period different between phase, Phase 1 katalah ni 2, ni 3. Lepas tu ni, ni 3, ni 3. Ni 2, ni 3. Contoh je tau. Laju pula saya cakap. Tadi awal-awal tadi macam slow je kan. Ni saya pergi laju sikit. So maknanya awak kena tambah lah. Because you are going to count or calculate the total cycle time. Daripada bermulanya hijau sehingga berakhirnya orange period. Later on in traffic control signal design. Okay. So faham dah integrin. Apa maksud integrin? Okay, saya assume awak faham. Awak kan pandai-pandai kan semua kan? So, itu sahaja about terminal terminologies. So, make sure awak faham eh, fasa ni macam mana. Okay.